Welcome back to 843 TV. We are now here with Mr. Joe Lee. He is with the Town Council of Port Royal. How are you? I'm great. So tell everybody what the goals are for Port Royal in 2013. Well, we, uh, we like this time of year when we can look forward and talk about what we're going to do <laughs> after having uh, 12 months of, uh, of a background. The, uh, the, the, one of the issues, of course, is the port uh, sale. Another issue is uh, expanding the use of the shed. Uh, this year we're also, um, uh, we need to sign a contract with the town of, uh, city of Buford. And uh, uh, of course our continuing, one, our, one of our primary goals is to continue the work with uh, WHHI. Uh, this program and the other program we do with Buford News has proven to be very valuable for us. So uh, we're, we're looking forward to that. Everyone's most interested in the sale of the port. Can you give us the latest? Well, I can, uh, I can say that uh, last night we did meet with attorneys uh, for the Ports Authority and our own attorney, and uh, we're optimistic. We, uh, we start each year with the optimism that it, this is going to be the year. Uh, we just signed a, uh, or we'll sign next week, a new five-year agreement <clears throat> with the State Ports Authority that outlines the conditions for the sale of the property. Uh, it also has some new uh, controls built into it so that we can um, uh, have more influence. We feel that we'll be a lot more proactive this time than we have been in the past. So uh, we're excited about it. Uh, thank goodness we start every year that way. So. I have read in the paper this morning that part of the agreement included a lot of cleanup associated with the port property. And I know that you've mentioned that on the show before. So that looks like that will go ahead and personally I think that will go a long way to attracting a buyer. Well that, that yes thank you they, and, and uh, the, uh, the real estate agent out of uh, Columbia NAI Avant uh, has, has become much more active than they were in the past and they're pushing a lot to have the port cleaned up. There's an appraisal going on right now they say by the end of the month uh, that will be done. The appraisal is required by the state right. because uh, it has to be sold at the appraised value. And of course, there are not many 300-acre uh, properties on the water that are uh, that you can use for comps. So, if anybody knows about appraisals, you know you can't go back and just pick it out of a book. Right. So, great. That sounds like it's moving in the it right is, direction. It is right now. It is moving in the right direction. Great. Can you share some of the ideas involving the shed? Sure, can. Um, we uh, contract with uh, 303 Associates to manage the shed. And we're looking at, uh, we have some ideas we're kicking around to get more events there on a daily basis. Maybe some residents involved in doing some things locally. Instead of these big uh, all-encompassing events, uh, we want to see more people there. And uh, we're looking forward to uh, some, as I say, some local residence-based events. Great. The Shed is such a great venue for, for people to gather. It's, it's, um, it's, it's a large facility. It's, it's, um, it's got a good vibe for the town of Port Royal. Well, we, we want it to attract people into town, and that's what it's done. It's done a good job of that. So, Joe, I know that there is a contractual matter outstanding from 2012. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure can. Uh, we, uh, we have a pretty unique situation with our fire department. Uh, in Port Royal, we own the equipment. We own the trucks, and we own the building. But we contract with the city of Buford for firefighters. Mm -hmm. So the, the actual employees are, are Buford city employees. That's been a contract that's been going for 10 years. Uh, it's uh, up for renewal and we worked on it last year and we hope to finish that contract here in the first quarter. Okay. Uh, it's a very important thing to us and, it, and to our residents to make sure we have full uh, coverage uh, for our fire. Very important. Yeah. very important. So there's also going to be a property reassessment that will be a huge factor in 2013. What exactly is that and how will you manage that? Well, we're all, all municipalities are going through a reassessment. Uh, the chances are, I mean, uh, you have to assume that some of the property values will be going down. So the revenue from property taxes uh, potentially can go down. The way we protect ourselves from that is by having uh, control in our costs. Uh, and we are very diligent about that. Uh, we're, we're a small town. We have 10,000 uh, uh, residents. And so we want to control our budget and control our expenses, and just like you would at your household expenses. Joe, it's, it's now the, <clears throat> the winter months. What can visitors do to, when they come to Port Royal? What are some, some, some fun attractions and, and, and um, 
fun things to do for the family? Well, you know, you can always go to the sands and look for shark teeth. <laughs> and uh, I saw pictures uh, on Facebook the other day of people at the sands uh, getting shark's teeth and walk on the boardwalk. The uh, wetlands, uh, the rookery there, um, it's in a little bit of a dormant stage, but there are beautiful birds there. Uh, you can walk around that half mile track and uh, always see something. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and enjoy, uh, uh, go to the shrimp boats and see the shrimp boats and get a bite to eat in town. And there's the lecture series, is that still going on? Uh, lecture series is still going on. Uh, we have a lecture at the end of this month and then again in February and March. Always lots of fun stuff going yeah, on in Port is. Royal. And uh, we're going to be hosting the, uh, the big barbecue cook-off in February. So we're, uh, and that benefits Friends of Caroline Hospice? Yep. Mm -hmm. And we will be helping them set that up, and it'll be our second year doing that. So we're looking forward to it. So people who want to stay up to date with all of the stuff that you guys have going on in Port Royal, with the, you know, with the shed, with the cell, the port, and all that stuff, where can they find that information? Uh, Eight four three TV. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> Do you guys have like a? Is we have a website. Yes, portroyal.org, uh, okay. and it's uh, very simple, and uh, stuffs up there. Yeah. You come on the Beaufort News once a week, too. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Lots of information yeah. there, too. Yeah. So if you're not I'll computer you savvy, just come to 843 TV, right. and Joe will be on there. Right. <laughs> and you'll hear the latest. Exactly. Well, thank you for being with us. You always have thank a wealth you. of information about Port Royal. And we will be right back with more 843 TV. Thank you. <laughs>